Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1888. And you're sort of not going to believe what we see in this example. It will show the power of Microsoft 365 Excel and the new Dynamics Build Array Formula Engine. Now, this question was sent in by an accountant. Here are the trial balance amounts by account and department. And the accountant was given this list. And we need a single cell formula to add up just the intersecting values. So 1947, 200, bam, I need that one. 2240, 100 to 300, I need those. Also, this one and this one. Now, the funny thing is, this question was sent in 14 years ago. I posted an Excel magic trick about the solution. Here was the formula. Then about six years later, there was a new trick using n, if, and 1 to get match and index to read array operations. But all that is out the window because we have Microsoft 365 Excel. Now, of course, you could do it manually, but that's not dynamic. So our goal is we're going to use index and match lookup functions to look up the values and then put that inside the sum function so we can simultaneously look all of them up and then add. Now let's start with index. This is a lookup function. We put in array all the values we potentially want to look up, comma, and then we need a row position and a column position. Now, if we're going to look up 1947, that's in the first position. 2240, second position. So to do that, we use X match, lookup value. We give it all the lookup values. That means X lookup will spit out a position for each one of those. Those will represent row position, comma, and lookup within that range. By default, it does exact match, so close. And if we select row number and hover, one, two, 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 four, five. Those are the row positions. Now we need the corresponding column positions. So at the end, comma, X match. We're looking up all of these, comma, within that range. Close, close. And if we do the same thing, those are the corresponding column positions. Now, index can take row, column, row, column, position, and simultaneously look all of them up. Now, let's highlight. And hover, uh-oh, it's giving us only the first item. Well, let's prove to ourselves, Control X. And I'm going to off to the side, put it in edit mode, Control V. And when I hit Enter, no worries. It got all of them spilled down the column. First, second, third, fourth. Look at that, got every single one. Now we need to just put that inside of sum, Control X, Alt equals Control V. I got to get rid of that equal sign. And now I simply Control Enter, and bam, there it is. All right, so accountants have been trying to do this exact accounting task for years. Old way, another old way, the new Microsoft 365 Excel way. Wow.